Hey everyone, so I just randomly decided to film and I'm going to do a, another series in my eBay yay or nay. So basically a first impression and I haven't even opened it. Um, so let's open it without showing you my address. And by the way, this looked huge on eBay so I'm going to be really disappointed if it's tiny. And, oh, it's tiny. Look at it guys. I've got a brush guard. So... I mean, it's cute. It would be really good for travelling. And it's got a sticker on it. It would be really good for travelling. It's really, like, quite dense, but soft and, like, yeah, at the same time. Obviously, it's not as big as it looks on eBay, but I want to see how it performs. So I'm going to prime my face with the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Apparently, like, I've... I've used it like once, but I didn't really notice. Apparently this has got amazing, like, primer <laughs> capabilities. So you just kind of like, let it dry and then wait till it gets tacky. If you guys haven't already noticed, yes, that is a toddler bed in the side of my room. The um, bed has been pushed to the side of the, uh, this side of the room, yeah, this side of the room. And I've put a toddler bed in there for Evely so that we could transition her. And um, obviously that's going to be changing soon. So this um, will be actually my filming room for a while, if you guys didn't know. Um, our bed is going out in the lounge because our whole living situation is just getting changed. Yeah, so you wait till it gets tacky and it's sticky and you start feeling it. It's got a dent in it. It's dented. I'm really... No, it's dented on both sides. Okay. Yeah, so it is kind of tacky now. Um, what foundation should I use? I'm going to use my uh, MAC Studio Fix Fluid because I use this a lot. So I've just put a bit of Studio Fix Fluid on and I'm going to test it out. And look how... It is a fat brush. I mean, it is fat, but the photo on eBay made it look like massive. Um, so I'm just going to... Buff that in. I mean, it's not covering amazingly, and it's really hard to blend. And it's kind of awkward with the handle because it's like, I don't know, it's really hard to hold. Even with my tiny hands, and I've got like little hands, it's really hard to hold. Um, but. I think it would be great for travel. That's the one thing I would use this brush for. I think I don't think I would use this in my everyday makeup so far, but we'll see. It's also quite a very slippery handle too, like I don't know how to explain it, but my hand keeps slipping. I don't know as of yet, but it does seem to be um, taking my foundation off. Um, especially around my problem areas like around my chin and up on my brows here where my pimples are so I'm going to try um, with a concealer on my uh, under my eyes and see how that works just kind of dab it I almost like it better with the concealer, to be honest. Now I'm going to try the Maybelline Fit Me Power Setting Smooth Powder in 120. So I'm going to try that with the same brush and see if it, how like well it applies powder. Now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I will come back to you guys and tell you guys my final opinions. Anyway, I just looked on eBay to see how much this was and it retails for about $2 New Zealand. Um, so, I mean, it's nothing when thinking about how much money you can spend on brushes. But in saying that, like, even though my makeup isn't, like, bad, I mean, it's not as good as it could be. The handle is so awkward, like... 
holding it. My hands are tiny again. My hands are like ridiculously tiny and holding this is just so awkward. Um, it slips out of your hand like if your hand is sweaty. Um, the only thing that I think this would be really good for is traveling. I mean it's so tiny it could fit in a makeup bag just like that. So I mean if you guys want a travel makeup brush I would go buy this but I mean if you guys don't then I wouldn't. It's probably not worth it. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!